Hello, welcome back. I would like to uh, go back, backtrack just a, a bit and uh, finish discussing the inside. I uh, figured and I realized that I was not done with the inside. I missed uh, quite a bit, so I will step back and analyze and discuss some of that. So this is a front view of the building of the structure, the dome. Uh, without the outer skeleton, of course, that without the outer outer structure, the outer walls, showing now not only the frame on the inside but also the walls, the wall paneling, the panel work for the walls, the divisions on the inside. This is quite important, and I will discuss here also like the furniture placement some of which uh, you saw on the if you saw the first video that I show I show some shots photograph or rendering uh, of each room of each location and you saw there some of the furniture how they're placed but here will give you a better idea exactly in 3d and you know giving you a perspective uh moving perspective as you could not see it on stills or still images as i showed earlier and as you can see the entrance is nothing but a frame uh, this is a complete frame one piece designed to be one piece of extruded alloy some sort of extruded metal perhaps aluminum perhaps aluminum alloy or other lightweight metal it could even be steel perhaps stainless perhaps other uh, treated or uh, covered steel or painted steel to prevent corrosion and stuff so yeah this is what that is this is a this has to be or was designed to be a complete piece where um, it's just one entire unit one whole unit extruded or welded together whichever uh, is feasible to acquire it is cut at an angle in the front it is nothing but a uh, square on the bottom or rectangle shape on the bottom and an arc on top I believe it to be quite simple to manufacture relatively simple and it does have a angle here unlike the back it's a straight 90 degree this is a angle and I show the dimensions on the build documents, the drawings and plans. The ramp, of course, is nothing but a concrete pad, as I mentioned before, I believe, and wooden handrails. Very simple design and construction. It is not solid. The ramp, as you can see, it is a pad a pad that is um, pretty much I believe is about eight six to eight inches thick and is supported by a wedge looking piece or a wedge piece on the bottom that is solid well those two pieces are solid I just mean that there is not a whole solid piece because there is a um, space here for you to gain access to the door or the hole the entrance there to the crawl space of course you need access and it does have access on both sides as you can see right there for ease of construction as you can see the blocks 
this is one, uh, for example one block, two blocks, three blocks, the third block on this one array is mostly on the ground. There's another foot, there's another one of those way underground as you can see on this view there's footing what I call foot blocks then the standing blocks two of them and then another block on top that's the, in the same position as this one and that's the same for the entire array this view also um, more or less shows you the depth those are at and of course you can see the exact depth on the drawing documents construction documents and, and uh, this is uh, some of the inside furniture and uh, I wanted to uh, especially show this right here which is a stair case a spiral staircase of course made of metal either steel most likely steel or other alloy and it is a prefabricated or fabricated piece that could be basically brought in. This pole uh, could go into the ground and with a concrete pad. However, I don't show it as such. I show it just uh, a piece standing on its own right on the floor. Uh, it could be attached to the floor. If I could get a better view of that on the side so you can see in that view it could just be I show it just standing on the floor there that would actually be of course braced and fastened to the floor frame <coughs> the frame itself as you can see is quite close to one of those uh, lines that show more or less within uh, give or take a few inches where the uh, 2 by 6 would be underneath so it could be very well attached to that or like I said it could go all the way down I may change that design so it can go all the way down into a concrete pad or foot or base for vertical support so it needs very minimal support up top bracing and attachments of course you would attach it to the frame again at each point for security safety and for obvious reasons so it doesn't fall it doesn't come detached this is the living area here in the front as you come in you go through the door frame the door is not showing I will turn that on here momentarily and you know you come in and you are in a space that is very much I believe uh, a very inspiring space you are especially if you come into the space for the first time you find yourself in a place that is very spacious with lots of headroom as you can see if you were standing here 
by where the entrance is all of a sudden you find yourself in this extremely large headroom extremely tall headroom uh, for the average experience of course if you're used to being in places bigger than this of course this is not going to surprise you but for the average person uh, used to living in the average home this would be a shocker this would this would be a awe inspiring experience where, where you find yourself in this very tall and very spacious space and not only that but very different and very comforting you know the shape of that dome overhead with all of those that array that symmetrical array of struts and you know arcs going all around again it could be a very awe inspiring experience and then you walk around of course there is not a lot of floor space but the way I designed and arranged the furniture I believe it to be uh, quite comfortable you can walk freely without bumping into any furniture this area as you approach the staircase and walk up into the second deck and then at the second deck you find yourself very uh, in a very special special place I believe also looking down and even up and around at the space I think this is a very special uh, space right here the downstairs space and also the upstairs space so as you can see there's couches uh, just two small couches this is a minimalist design believe it or not uh, other than you know the large uh, vases as you can see which are stuck up in a corner I believe they don't occupy a lot of space vertical space especially some floor space but uh, up in that corner uh, you would not want to be standing a whole lot because it is curved inward as you go up vertically there is some furniture that may be a little bit on the way as you walk like this one here but I believe it to be necessary because uh, or very convenient to have more convenient than not having it than the little bit of floor space it takes uh, perhaps it could be designed to where it's part of the chair kind of like an arm uh, platform and it doesn't occupy any floor space I may do that but as of right now it's just a stand if you will such as this one is also a stand probably the same dimensions we have another vase uh, Law, taller vase here in this corner that doesn't occupy a uh, terrible amount of floor space if we look at it from this angle again you have to excuse the slowness of this software this uh, hardware is also not helping the software may be okay it's just the hardware I'm using it may not be helping with the speed a whole lot but here this view gives you a glimpse of the spaciousness of this space especially vertically there's the base and there's that door for that first uh, I, I call this the second room room number two this would be room number one here I believe this room to be the largest second largest would be this one if I remember correctly 
right here in this area would be or is designed to be a laundry area as you can see in this if I can yeah move it around just a little bit the movement here is quite limited on this software and as you can see right here that's a laundry area with uh, washing machine and dryer stacked of course to save space floor space floor space here is at a premium and there's quite a bit of storage area right here very sturdy and strong lighting showing of course and as we move forward we go into the kitchen area again the walls are showing uh, just to talk a little bit about the walls they're nothing but they're designed to be 8 by 4 again panels whether it be wood planks or uh, plywood planks or any kind of other composite or plastic uh, sheets squared excuse me rectangular 8 foot by 4 foot sheets and that's how they are cut and designed to be throughout of course the smaller ones are just cut 8 by 4s cut to size so the whole building is designed to be easy to build relatively easy of course and built by a very small crew perhaps one to two people of course three to four to even six people is probably optimal six uh, person crew so I'll go ahead and discuss the lower room so let me turn off a few things and come back okay I'm back I turned off a few of the layers from the second floor of course there are some issues there with the second floor layers and the first floor I need to fix but I am pushing forward and um, as you can see here on the left side of the front entrance is uh, room number one is a bedroom of course with a small bed and these beds are small it is a relatively small space um, this would be a twin sized bed and these would be cabinets overhead cabinets a desk chair and a um, stand this would be the closet area as I move around I wish I did not zoom out as I did but software forces you to you can see the closet is quite spacious it has again overhead storage and you know of course that would be an area there for clothing shoes storage etc if so desired So moving around the rear of the structure, you can see the kitchen area. Kitchen is quite large, probably the largest space in the house. It's uh, the space where most people spend most of their time in the house when together. So why not make it the largest space uh, the dining area or breakfast lunch area or eating area it's right here uh, this large vase is just for decoration there it really it appears it occupies a lot of space but it really that space there is uh, pretty much uh, non-accessible too much it's uh, not tall enough to, to access, to be uh, wandering around, walking around in there. 
so it is just optional to have something like that there something similar it can be a trash can or whatever there or not or there could be an empty space as well this right here represents a sink dishwashing area curved is a curved structure as you can see wrapping into or wrapping around the dome itself the shape of the dome same with this two storage bins or storage cabinets up top these two storage cabinets of course are rectangular they don't have to wrap around any curves as you can see they are on straight walls range and refrigerator on that side desktops on each side curved to allow for floor space to be freed and also it gives it I think a very modern and matching feeling for the space where you're at I may put a curve here as well just like this match that could put a curve or a you know a chamfer or a fillet right there yes a fillet match to match this to smooth it out on the corners smooth out those corners to better match the rest of the furniture that may be something I may have missed it is something I missed so I will take note of that and fix that so I might as well go around and put corners excuse me put smooth out the corners and the other furniture or the other um, cabinets that sit up top I think I did miss most of those as far as putting you know a fillet that curve right there so that is the kitchen uh, moving around the rear the back the back is nothing but a mirror design of the front as far as the door frame and the doorway and the and the ramp is concerned it is the same exact structures they are the same a duplicate as you move around the back this side of the kitchen uh, there's a door that opens up to this space right here this space is pretty much an electrical utility room where electrical and other equipment would be located um, perhaps a water heater wall mounted tankless water heater would go here this represents the electrical panel uh, there would be a batteries perhaps a battery wall pack here is designed as it is right now to have batteries uh, I believe sitting somewhere here but I may change that to a wall mounted battery pack since those are quite popular now they probably were not back when I began designing this in 2017 so the solar photovoltaic uh, equipment also would go here perhaps the inverter the battery controller charge controller etc moving around this side again zooming in again we can see The other bedroom actually this is the larger bedroom I apologize for that mistake 
This is actually room one, or what you would call the master bedroom. This is the largest bedroom, as you can see, the queen size bed. It does have a storage space or closet here, lighted, and it has a couple of uh, stands, chairs, uh, what looks like a computer stand with copious storage overhead bins. So again, this is the master bedroom, bedroom one. So that wraps it up for the first floor. I will show the second floor here momentarily. And uh, since I really don't have any time right now, I will pick it up next video uh, on this uh, showing the second floor. I'm already showing some of the furniture there that remained on. Some of the layers, I guess, remained on for the second floor. But there are two additional rooms in the second floor. But before I do that, I missed this space. And I can do that now. This is a bathroom. This space right here, adjacent with the kitchen and the laundry area. It's a bath, bathroom, with a toilet and a bathtub and a sink. As you can see, uh, probably the best shot would be that one. There is the sink and the toilet. Sink, mirror, toilet. So that gives you an idea what the bath looks like. And this is a floor plan of the furniture and the different rooms in the house to give you an even better idea what I'm talking about. Ignore these green, light green furniture which I will turn off here I believe that was it nope that wasn't it second floor xref yes that was it nope the other one was it so that's turned off so this view here gives you a better idea of the floor plan and this is the bathroom area with the overhead storage cabinet there, the sink, wash, uh, structure, toilet and tub. Small area, but um, I believe to be very conventionally designed. Again, kitchen area here. This is a top view, of course, with the fridge and range here exit on that side sink dishwashing dinner table again from the top that electrical photovoltaic room and utility room um, water heater room this is a closet for this room number one master bedroom and this would be your living area of course the stairway staircase this would be room number two the smaller room of the two lower deck rooms with again the closet space being this one here so that is it for right now We'll pick it up next time. This is a better view of that space, the entire floor plan for the first floor in uh, plan view. And 
is uh, it's called they call it the parallel projection parallel projection this is uh, the perspective more like your eye would look at it would see it thank you very much we'll pick it up next video for the second floor and other areas of the dome home project thank you